And we're back. Dark and Ran. No. Mass Effect 3 and handed a crushing defeat at the hands mm -hmm. of a little bitch. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yep. We're going to be tracking them down soon enough. Let's see what Anderson has to say about this, though. Shepard, I heard about Thessia. We were so close, Anderson. So damn close to ending this war. You didn't think it'd be that easy, did you? <laughs> I knew going in there wouldn't be a minute of this war that was easy. But watching Thessia fall, and knowing it was my responsibility. Shepard, you know how many times I got my ass handed to me over the years? <coughs> Surviving the first contact war back in the day was a goddamn miracle. They said I was a hero. I just felt lucky to get out alive. So maybe Kai Lang did beat you. What of it? It could cost us the war. These guys in the Resistance, they know it's a losing proposition. They know the chances of seeing tomorrow are slim to none. But we all signed up anyway. Hell, I'm sitting in London right now staring at rubble. I was born here. And it's looking like I might die here, too. So I say point us at the Reapers, and we'll take our chances. You'll make it, Anderson. And when this is all over, you can show me London. <laughs> it might need a new coat of paint first. <laughs> this will be over soon. In yeah, winter, one way or another. Off, Shepard. I will. Anderson out. Nothing, yeah. nothing like a pep talk. Yeah, much needed better. Right then. Speaking of which, I think we know someone who needs one too. Maybe. She got a point. Yeah. Unread messages at your private terminal, Commander. No shit. <clears throat> Counselor Tavos, Thessia. The situation on Thessia is far more dire than we had ever expected. Communication between the matriarchs is in complete disarray, and our military has already been overwhelmed. For our civilization to have any chance of surviving, we are attempting an evacuation to save as many people as we can. I've already contacted Admiral Hackett, asking for Alliance help, but I fear that my attempts to persuade him were in vain. We have secured ships from Rannoch to transport our people, but without the Alliance fleets, they will stand little chance against the Reapers. In return for any help, we will provide our remaining ships in the fight to retake Earth. If the Normandy can lend assistance, even without, if al without Alliance support, we will give you the location of um, Thessia where you can find a collection of what were we now know to be Prothean memory shards. Acquired over the centuries, your experience on Eden Prime may allow you to see if they hold something of valuable, value to building the Crucible. I know we do not always see things equally, but I hope you can look past our differences in order to convince the Admiralty to assist Thessia in its most desperate hour. Yeah, it, we, 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 we saw what it was like down there. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of down there, I saw your military command until from Thessia. Good. You open this message. This isn't actually a sorry military command. They're busy tending what's left of their planet. So you survived our fight on Thessia. You're not as weak as I thought. But never forget that your best wasn't good enough to stop me. Now an entire planet is dying because you lack the strength to win. The legend of Shepard needs to be rewritten. I hope I'm there for the last chapter. It ends with your death. Big talk for ran away. Yeah, a big talk for someone who, who called for air support. Repeatedly. Alliance Command. Collector Cruiser. <laughs> Shepard. We received word from the Geth and Corians. They disabled a Collector Cruiser out in the far rim. By all reports, it was a hell of a battle. Right now, it's dead in space and loaded with intel. I sent a Leviathan enthrallment team to secure the ship, but they went dark almost immediately after. We're prepping a second team to find out what happened, but there are a lot of unknowns. You have the experience with these vessels, if they could, and they could use the help. I know you don't want to hear it, Commander, but you're too valuable to risk on this one. Send in the team and find out what happened. Curious. Hmm. 
Admiral Hackett has convened a session with Alliance Command over to QEC in order to discuss the Asari Counselor's request to help. Your presence is requested. Okay, then. <coughs> oh. <coughs> oh. Shepard, the Admiral's just discussing. How these damn people have screwed us at every turn, and Iron wants to, us to play the Good Samaritan. <coughs> these people are civilians who did nothing wrong. We shouldn't condemn them for what their government did. They deserve our help. Mark my words, we save the Matriarch's collective asses, and the Counselor will stand on the bodies of our dead soldiers and make herself a saint by telling her people how she convinced us to help when she caused this whole mess in the first place. Maybe. But we get all their remaining fleets and personnel to fight the Reapers. Can't you see the big picture? They should have been helping from the start instead of hiding the key to a super weapon in their backyard. You can't just fix this with fleets. Shit, everybody else is already stepping up. And most of them have got nothing left to live for anyway. We can't just ignore the Asari fleets either. Those are Destiny-class dreadnoughts out there just waiting to fly our colors. That's a huge advantage in this war, no matter what you think of them. If their fleets are so great, why aren't they defending the Rannoch transports during the evac? They will be. They held up, a, they held up against the Reapers a lot better than we did. But they're still taking one hell of a beating. <clears throat> Besides the Counselor, they've got no real leadership left. The senior matriarchs are all on Thestia, and Salarian intel suggests everything is hanging by a thread. I'm not a huge fan either, but the truth is, the Asari are not going to be much of a military unless we get at least some of the matriarchs out of there. So they gamble with the galaxy's very survival, refusing to help anyone but themselves. Where were they when Earth was burning? And now it's their backs against the wall. They expect us to save them. This isn't about who's right or who's wrong. It's about making sure that our people left after this damn war is over. I don't like it either, but if we're gonna, well, if we have to make nice and do some bullshit humanitarian missions to get those fleets, then I say we just do it and get this over with. We're just going in circles, Shepard. Who are you siding with on this? Arn or, Mc or McCallavick? Uh, let's help. Arn it is. <clears throat> I'm not going to sacrifice my men's lives just for a goddamn thank you note. No way we should risk the fleet on this. Then what do you suggest? <clears throat> you want to get us on board? Then give us all of their beacon research. Everything they have. All of it. Even without the Prothean Cypher, they've had it for centuries. With plenty of time to study it. It's a gold mine. <clears throat> And it's high time those pretentious matriarchs were knocked down a peg. You want to extort an entire race? You can't be serious. Well, then we'll call out a treaty. Who cares? This war is too costly to do things out of the goodness of our hearts. They're asking us to take a huge risk with our fleet. And so if they really want our help, they've got, they've got to pay a price. If not, they can forget it. There's no way they'll ever agree to that. You know this. Even if they agree, their military is going to going to find out and second-guess everything we say. We can't have the Asari doubting us or our war strategies when we take the battle back to Earth. Oh, they'll agree to the terms, and their military won't question anything. We will get their full cooperation because the Council doesn't want to answer questions about breaking galactic law and hoarding Prothean tech. I hear that's a big deal. And what if we win this war? Then what? We won't get any type of Asari support for reconstruction when this is over. The Asari will do everything they can to make sure the council blocks all our requests. Infrastructure, supplies, technical assistance, all gone. If we send our fleets, we get the job done, we get their firepower. I agree. We should save those people, not shake them down. We need to send in our fleet. If we send our fleet, we'll be sending thousands of humans to their deaths. Not to mention the ships that are lost that could be better used somewhere else. Like taking back Earth. And if by some miracle we win this war, the matriarchs will have a civil war on their hands or be too busy dodging indictments to pick up a hammer. It's now or never. We won't get a second chance at this. They want us to sacrifice our ships and thousands of soldiers. Give us the data. Or we see how advanced they are when they take the Reapers alone. Damn it, Boris. Stop being such an asshole. It's not like the Alliance hasn't done shit we regret. The bottom line is they don't deserve our help. Even if we had an ounce of honor, we would refuse them outright. If we risk our troops, there has to be a price. Shepard, you've been awfully quiet. What's your take on this? Your turn. <laughs> you don't got it in ya? I'm just not sure. Hmm. What do I leave points? <sighs> this is what they call the chains of commanding. 
Ya. Mikhailovic's been, been a pain in the ass since the beginning, though. Yep. Hell, he tried to shake. Hell, he tried to shake us down in the first game. If you don't remember it. I in fact do not remember it. <laughs> It was specifically the reason why uh, we didn't go back to the Citadel until I basically maxed out Charm. Because he does a surprise inspection on the Normandy and basically starts trying to re ream into us for having non-human crew members. Okay, yeah, fuck him. <clears throat> I spoke with the Counselor. <clears throat> to say she was surprised and relieved that we were in considering their offer is an understatement. However, she feels two fleets will be more effective in getting the job done. Are you shitting me? Two fleets? That's almost half our forces. Tadius, even you have to see this as insane. Yeah, we can't afford two fleets. I can take the sixth and a, f and a few battle groups of the fifth. The sixth needs to be combat tested anyway. They've been in reserve since Asgard. That will have to do. Two would be more effective, she's right, but we can't spare them. Even that's a huge gamble. Look, the Normandy is equipped to go in undetected, then get us the intel and coordinates we need for the transports. There's no need to risk fleets of this size. Shepard, it's up to you. But that's the most sensible way to go. Thoughts? Uh, yeah, I think he's got a point, of, a point about that one. Like, we can spread even more. Can we? I mean, we can barely spare it to, we can barely spare it to send anything to start with. <laughs> yeah, like, when even Ahern agrees, yeah, let's just drink the Normandy. Primary objective, recover intel. Secondary objective, oversee evacuation. Scout evacuation areas to determine enemy presence and evacuation priority. Signal to fleets to enter system via scanning pulse. Recover evacuees and lead transport flotilla to this highlighted fleet. This looks complex. Signal to fleet to confirm readiness to dock. Repeat until ground or fleet command indicate further action is not viable. Secondary objective, okay. avoid casualties. Fleet objective is to prevent enemy forces from interfering. Ground objective is to maintain orderly evacuation and prevent trans enemy incursion. Priority is to avoid casualties to the fleets. Sounds like a mother mission. Sounds like it's going to be pain, Peko. Well, you're the one who decides the order on that, but then we're going to write the other ones. Going to go check our weapons first. Yeah, fair enough. Make sure we have an atlas or two. <coughs> Let's see. Oh boy, they get speed fire. Yeah, I'm gonna start upgrading the venom now because I feel like I'm gonna start needing more and more firepower. Yeah, we have saved up a good amount of money, so. Upgrading our guns is probably a good idea. Nothing else in this list. Oh, not the Indra. Can max out the Indra finally. Yay! Watch there be an extra level after we go mods. Nah. Fully automatic sniper rifle though. Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> Oh boy, that does get rather expensive. Huh? Just a bit, yeah. Shut the door. Yeah, why not? Why don't I have an assault rifle? Hey. Is it put on a foot or something? Yep. Have to pick between the Indra or the Matic. But I'm keeping That's the Venom with me for now because... I mean, the Indra is maxed out, so maybe that would have 
I mean, so is the Matic. Let's shave a bit more weight off of it. Yeah. And can't afford it anymore. Hey! Positive power recharge. It's something. Yeah, I'd say we've got a couple of mechs. Yeah, we might need them if we're going to go to that mission. And a hammerhead. Yeah, that's why we think we might actually need to uh, use it at some point. Anyway, I do believe we did. We have more mail. The mail will still be there. I'm pretty sure that at the very least, Liara might want to have a chat. Found the Asari QEC. I found the final communicator to the Andromeda Initiative. It is in a lab deep behind enemy lines on Thessia. We cannot afford to let this fall into the clutches of Reapers. I have prepared a short message to send to the initiative. I have a former acquaintance aboard the Ark Hyperion, Alec Ryder. He is a former N7 officer who has chosen to be the human pathfinder. He can be trusted and will know how to spread the message to initiative leadership without panicking the colonists. We need to find any distraction that will allow us to infiltrate and destroy this equipment before they find it. Which actually checks out because Alec Ryder is the player character's father in Andromeda, and huh. did and did have communication back and forth with Liara. Huh. Cool. <clears throat> I'm guessing that one's also mother. Yes. Consider considering Andromeda was well after this game. Yeah, but they might have hinted at it. No, no, it was never in the plan. Fair enough. Emmy all from Diana Allers. A source tells me the Asari are petitioning the Alliance to assist with a rescue mission to Thessia. Let me help you. We can spend this to increase your popularity. We can get a few shots of recovered priceless historical treasures, and I will do some interviews with helpless civilians you rescue. My story will make you a big hero, your reputation will skyrocket, and cash donations for the, to the war effort will roll in. The Asari will lap it up. Trust me, if there's one thing I know, it's how to get that particular audience on your side. I mean... <laughs> All of it hinges on us getting this done. Yep. <sighs> oh boy. This is gonna get ugly, I can already feel it. Yep. Evacuation could be used as cover to destroy the last remaining QEC to the Asari Ark of the Andromeda Initiative. Run mission N7 Scorched Earth now, or return to Thessia later. Well, we're not really here. Question is, do we want... I don't know if doing it now could affect the evacuation. What do you think? Oh. I have no idea. I think we can return later, hopefully. Take us in, Joker. Oh boy. Um, you know who we haven't been brutally with before? Hmm. Ashley. Hmm, fair enough. I mean, Italy, I don't think we have brought Ashley video, but you know. <laughs> uh, clearly we have, because she's got equipped weapons. Yeah, it's just been a while. Oh, this is gonna be some serious suffering. Yeah, probably.
I guess we're doing the drama the thing anyway. Okay. Hmm. I must have hit the wrong button. Question mark. Anyway, and drama initiative scientific facility Armali Thessia. Clear the area of enemy forces, override three terminals, and enable the facility's self-destruct system to permanently disable the QEC linked to Asari Arc. A shield generator has been provided to provide cover for your engineer, who will be exposed when hacking. If the shield fails, the mission will fail. The skill of the hacker will impact how long the hacking takes. So glad we brought that. Seriously. The mission is operating in a code black war zone. There can be no rescue missions for injured teammates who are left behind. The entire team must extract together. Oh shit. Commander, we're through. Where are you flying, Lieutenant? I can drop you there, but it's gotta be now. Let's do it. Let's find that control center. Enemy. Follow my lead. Oh, those enemies. Indeed. All right, let's go. That's a lot of I mean, we knew it was going to be ugly going in. Yeah. It was pretty impressive everything that the mothers have managed to do with, you know, what little they had available. Yeah. I don't say no, it's not exactly a most friendly game. I wouldn't say it is, otherwise there'd be a lot more mods, probably. Lord. I heard a banshee. Yep, there's a banshee somewhere. There it is! A ring? Why does that Banshee have a name? I don't know. I don't care. What did you shoot? What, the, is that your shotgun? Yes, the Venom. Huh. Can you tell why I like it? Yeah. Hello! One shot. Yeah. Yeah, it fires explosives. They've got. No, but you can charge it up. Yes. And if you don't miss, that's usually better. Yeah, that's the problem. That's why I only use it on big targets. Yeah. What is this? A constant swarm of them non stop? Wouldn't surprise me. Ah, uh, that was a kill. I'm pretty sure they killed, hit it. they killed it before you. It was on fire, it counts! <laughs> Hello. Loot. Oh, hey, upgrade for Frictionless Rail. Damn it. This will take a while. Commander, you've got enemies inbound and we can't wait. Someone's gotta get those defenses down ASAP. She's all yours, Tally. That one wasn't even a question. Alright. Defend the shield. Banshee. There it is. I don't fucking care. That looked kind of pretty for a moment. It was. Shit. 
Okay. That one's down. That's probably another one. This sure sounds like another one. The, tur the turret is very confused. So I see. And let you shoot this somewhere where it doesn't have direct access to the shield because it seemed like it was shooting the shield. Well, if nothing else, it will quickly turn its attention to Reaper horses when, they see when it sees them. Yeah. And then it promptly turns its attention back to the shield. Ow! <laughs> Friendly fire, you bastard! Yes, apparently being in the way of the rocket will hit you, regardless of whether uh, you can be or not. More of them. Shit. Okay, she's good. I don't appreciate that, you bastard. Fuck off. No, they have uh, a few screeches as they die. Well, that's a good one, I guess. Yeah, one I down. Remember correctly, we have to have three things. Yep. Um, we don't even have an objective, Martin. Yeah, even better. There's one. Oh, I guess we just need to finish off the enemies first. Forward. Oh. I guess that terminal was right next to the previous one. Tally. Care to do the honors? Go home, turret, you're drunk. I was about to say that this was suspiciously easy. Being able to one hit your ravagers though, very nice. Being able to one hit these guys in general. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Roots. I should probably be shooting. If I would change weapons, that would help. Hey, hey. Fuck off. Hey, 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 hey. Punch is mine. Something like that? Something like that, yeah. Done. Good. Oh, hello. I noticed. That didn't. Ammo. Need ammo. Oh, Dr. Sedanaya. As per our agreement with the Matriarch, the protein technology is off limits to all except the dedicated science unit. 
It has already turned a number of cess subjects into drooling imbeciles. The matriarchy has only given us permission to move it, move it in, move it, move it here, and hope it will f we will find out how to unlock it using technology the initiative acquired from the alliance. Sorry. Oh, those guys. Mm. Abominations. They had a tendency to explode. has been overrun by collectors. They have captured sin help and me. Yeah, I don't think they're getting any help. Yeah. Tally. Care to do the honors? I get a feeling this one. Whoa. Whatever that was. Banshees. Collectors. Oh. Yeah. Could have done without yeah, that today. Yeah. What? Oh. I don't appreciate that at all. Tank, basically. Oh, were those the ones that we fought in the first game with the tank? No. They, uh, but they showed up a few times in the second game and were always pain when they did. This one's possessed. Yeah, which means Harbinger is uh, assuming direct control. I don't appreciate that at all. I don't appreciate that at all either. Just another one. Yeah. Who's next? You are. I still call it a nice change of face. Like I said, they explode. That was close. Yeah. It's being extra sure. Yeah. Where left is down? Hey, don't melee the abominations. I hear it's bad for you. No, it's just, it first showed up in multiplayer. Uh, Second service computer online, security protocols at QC online. Confirm upload a message and data packet to Andromeda Arcs. Let's listen. Hello, Alec. This is Liara Tassoni, and the year is 2186. I don't know if you'll even receive this message. But we corresponded years ago. I remember you spoke about a plan to settle Andromeda. I don't know if your arts made it out of the Milky Way, but the worst has happened here. I'm with Commander Shepard and a brave crew. We're trying to build a weapon to turn the tide, but I fear that the civilization you remember, the people of the Milky Way as you knew them, could be gone forever. You may be all that's left. Please, don't forget us. Keep us alive in your hearts, and tell your children of the wonders that once were. On behalf of the crew of the Normandy SR2, this is Dr. Liara Tassoni. 
starting off. Hmm. Okay then. I mean, so better to give them a warning. Investigate beacon. Oh boy, this again. I feel like I've made a mistake. Perhaps. Oh, it's time to go. Yeah, it's almost like interfacing with a beacon in the middle of a war zone might not be the best. No, 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 the, uh... We mm -hmm. have 1 minute 40 seconds to get out of here. Oh, shit. And he's in the way. Okay, you might need to be... Out of the way! On your feet. Out of the way, Harbinger. <laughs> I told him to get that fuck out of my way. Yeah, fair enough. But that's what we will do with the thing we can. Seekers. Oh great. Oh great. It's hold the line now. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Say nope, nope, nope. What that was a thing? <sighs> Picks up a rocket launcher. Praetorian. Oh no. My new fertilized embryos. Elder the Quartz of Dakuna. So it's an Elcor. Mm -hmm. Melancholic, you have my gratitude for supporting our evacuation, but the trials of my, of my people are not over. We Elcor breed very slowly and our gestation is long. Apprehensively, if the war is won, our population will struggle to regrow and I fear our genetic diversity is at risk. Discreetly, on Ikuna, in the, in the city of New Elfas, there is a fertility laboratory possessing thousands of fertilized embryos for implantation. These are tailored to create a broad, a broad spectrum of genes to prevent stagnation in the colony. Disquietingly, yet the planet is under attack and we fear the embryos will be lost. With stubborn hope, if you come to our aid once more, we will throw our full weight behind the system's alliance. Recover the cryogenic tanks for us. The more you can save, the brighter our future. Yeah. <sighs> There's always something to do, huh? Yup. Oh, Lord. Oh, oh boy. Oh. That's... That is not in the plan. 
Looks like we're not done yet. Not in the least. <sighs> Sounds like we're going right back in. I, 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 I don't, I don't know, I don't know. Just gonna leave this, yeah. <laughs> this is a fuck this, I'm out. Things. Fuck this, I'm out. <laughs> Vacuees, the matriarchs, mercenaries, amp technicians. Cultural artifacts, resistance fighters, gunship pilots. Matriarchs, civilians, and Republican Guard. So which one do we focus on? Assuming we have to, assuming we have to focus. I'd rather evacuate the civilians. Okay. Signal confirmed. Oh, uh, that's Reaper alertness. Message to North Spec Ops Lieutenant Commander chose the ground command. It appears we caught the Reapers by surprise. The initial landings at this location were incident free, and ground troops have been deployed to establish a perimeter. The spaceports are overcrowded with far more people than we can fit in one transport run. Everyone is desperate to escape, but so far the boarding has been relatively orderly. We will need to return. We have limited capacity. Who do we prioritize? Well, civilians, obviously. Yeah, obviously. We need to have a fighting chance. At least they can hold the line. That too. I mean, let's not forget. The matriarchs are, are almost a thousand years old with the power to match. On the other hand, <laughs> those are Reapers. I guess the monk couldn't handle that, huh? And I imagine you can't just Fight them. No, if they catch the Normandy, it's game over. In fact, they're supposed to be faster than Normandy. Huh. <laughs> engaging mineral resistance, weapons live, fighters away. Treadnoughts engaging in a reaper. Civilian offloading has begun. Sector 912 showing limited reaper presence, extending fire patrol. Yeah, this is all stuff that makes more sense to me than what you probably. Enough. Keep it up. Reaper reinforcements. Caught in a trap? Question mark. Task for protecting the home system. The Asari First Fleet once formed the strongest and best equipped fleet in the Asari Navy. With only two of its five Destiny class dreadnoughts remaining, it's only a shadow of its former power. Hurriedly patched and put back into service, the crews are grimly determined to save as many of their sisters as possible. Yeah, I don't know That looks like a dead ripper. Now which one do we go for? The matriarchs or the mercenaries? Well, uh, I think we can go for matriarchs in this case. Yeah, they actually. Ooh, ooh, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Just make a loop around the system. <laughs> Maybe 50 of the big ones. Osh lost the Destiny ne Nefma. Destiny We are losing ships. Do we keep going or do we withdraw? 
Uh, I'm probably the one more. A sorry fleets take damage. Second fleet is largely yeah. composed of frigates and fighters. Yeah, immediately the mission did say continue until being told that we can't continue, so... Hades cannons near the city's edge are opening up. Transports are going down, cargo and all. Another fell back to hit the command center and losing ground. Can't hold long. This will be our last run. Probably resistance fighters. I think. You've made your decision. Uh oh. God, that's such a pain in the ass. Not enough space. Gotta get a little more room. The line first fleet is gone. It'd be good. I'll fall back. The fleets are withdrawing. Yeah, that's as much as we can manage. That was more than we could manage. We <laughs> yeah. probably should have withdrawn after the second round. Dolly. Like, which unlimited success? Sorry, refugee fleet stands motionless. The purple lights of the nebula are mournfully reflecting off the sleek curves of the ship's escape Thessia. Not a few are the luxury clippers of the super-rich, now packed with frightened and upset refugees. Unlike the hubs of activity that formed around the nearby human and Tyrian escapees, the Asari flotilla remains silent, with only the occasional shuttle making its way between the ships. A few cruisers that survived the intense battle before the planet's fall stand with the fleet. Dark scars under white Solaris armor, a testament to the ferocity of the Reaper invasion. Approximately yeah. 600 ships with 450,000 aboard. Those are some pretty big ships and pretty packed ships as well. Yeah. That could have gone better. Yeah. Still. Rescue a lot of people. About least. a few, about a few. <clears throat> and I we still have the, plenty of. can complain about how much we managed. Yeah, we did what we could. Yeah. Probably would have done a lot better if we had brought, brought our own fleet in. I mean, if we had brought two fleets. Should I not mention? Yeah, weren't we supposed to have brought uh, one of the No, the decision was do we commit human ships or just the Normandy? I thought the last one was to bring the one fleet and the Normandy or two whole fleets because that's what they were arguing about. No, they're, they're arguing, the argument was. Uh, the Asari were, were requesting two fleets, or at least a full and partial fleet, and the admirals were, were arguing back, they, we, can, we can barely spare the first fleet. So the, so the decision was, do we commit human resources, or just send to Normandy? Well, my bad. <sighs> I yep. the options, I guess. It's a, it's a, it's a mistake commanders throughout history have made. Yeah. Misunderstanding your circumstances. But that's something. Still have quite a few things left to do. Mm-hmm. Still, kind of wish they would have 
you know, a lot of the option of just playing the one fleet. Mm. Like we had already agreed to bring one fleet, we could have just played the one, brought the one, but I, I guess, I guess. it was just too worn on. Either way, that's a Pyrrhic victory. Yeah. Still have uh, plenty more to do. Mm -hmm. So next time we can go hunting for some more random stuff. Yay! Laters. Bye bye.